welcome. I'm just here getting down to getting ready to throw on the wheel and um, I'm just getting my wheel together so why don't you join me you know we're all, we all get in that situation don't worry get, getting down to throw getting our tools sorted out let's see I've got my throwing stick I've got my leather piece of chamois leather sponge stick I've got my mirror I've got a cut off wire here okay don't have your, your cut-off wire too long, all right? It's the fault of many of those commercial cut-off wires. They are too long. You want a short one about 13 inches, okay? You don't want it much longer than that. What else? What else? A needle, needle tool, okay? Basically, I when I get down to throw, apart from the mirror, which I have... As you know, I like to throw with a mirror. And if you've not thrown, used a mirror as a throwing aid to help you, then I suggest you, you get a mirror. We're going to set it up there. Okay, but basically you need five tools. You need a lever, sponge stick, throwing stick, needle tool, and a cut-off wire. That's what you really need. And when you're throwing, you don't really need much more than that you know in your throwing area and if you've got other tools it's probably a good idea get rid of them they're just going to get they'll get in the way all right so i'm just going to get a bit of clay there for the mirror and um i just take a like a wadge of clay like that you see and then put that on the side here take the mirror and then stick it in there like that make sure it's secure secure on the wheel now if you've never thrown with a mirror or never used a mirror as a throwing aid get out there and get one and try it because you'll find it will really help you I mean, lots of people who I've met you know they never they never they never used a mirror but Afterwards, they always say, wow, what a great idea. So get yourself a mirror and, um, and try it out. So that's that. Now you're probably thinking, okay, so what are you going to make? <laughs> well, um, what I'm going to attempt to make is something that... Uh, I got a little inspiration from as you go through life you know you bump into things that you see in shops in stores maybe uh, you know some sort of particular shape that takes you that that uh, takes your fancy and uh, I came across one of those just recently when I was sh in a store and uh, I, I, I bought it and I brought it home and um, Don't just talk about it, Simon. Show it to us. <laughs> that's what it. That's what it is. It's a little Mediterranean. Actually, this is a Spanish, a Spanish olive oil bottle. They come in different types, but this this is one. Now you may see have seen one of my clips where I've done uh, an olive oil bottle before, uh, of a different shape. In fact, more like the shape of an ol an olive. An olive uh, itself you know a rounded shape with a narrow neck well this is a different one and I was looking at it and thinking well because I can remember you know from the days when I lived in Spain seeing such bottles and they're actually very good they pour very well they don't dribble um, something that you notice about it as soon as you let go of it you see what happens when you put there the bottle automatically is wanting is wanting to tip you see that's because the way that the handle is placed um, causes it to drop like that you see so as soon as you pick it up it wants to pour immediately it's saying pour me pour me pour me 
Now, some some pots that you pick up, you'll agree. Some pots when you pick them up, you say, "Oh God, this is heavy. You know, am I going to be able to pour this?" Well, that's that's not a very good design, then, really, is it? See, something like this is already it's weighted in such a way because of the handle and the center of gravity, etc., that it wants to pour. So that's actually a good design point. Anyway, what I thought I would do is attempt to make one of these, or let's say a sort of derivation of it. Uh, it won't be exactly the same, but I'm using this as a sort of an inspiration. Okay, so I'm going to put that over here in front of me, you see, and then I can... I can kind of refer to it as I go. So let's get over here on the on the on the bench over here because I'm I'm just getting some clay ready here. So let's let's get that clay ready. See, that's a spiral kneading, and it's a very good way of kneading, probably the best way. I've already kneaded this, you see, some time, and I'm now getting to the end of it, and I'm going to kind of roll it up into a cone. You see. You actually want a more stable uh, kneading table than um, than what I've got here. This is just temporary. Okay, so I'm going to take my scales because I'm going to weigh this. You see, so I'm I'm looking at the piece that I've got to make. I mean. Come on, scales. What's the matter? Huh. Seems that the batteries have gone on my scales. Okay. We're going to eyeball it. No worries. What I would probably be aiming to do is take a lump of clay that is probably at least a pound anyway. Um, okay, I'm taking a lump of clay here, which is by my by my estimation uh, approximately approximately a pound okay right dee, 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 dee. so let's focus down here on the wheel head there you can see the the olive oil bottle in front of me and um, let's see if we can persuade that lump of clay to become an olive oil bottle. Now I've never made one of these before so you're going to have to be patient with me. <laughs> now the thing, the, the, the idea is not to get it exactly the same as the, the olive oil bottle this may not be enough clay probably to make that shape completely but the idea is to get the shape so let's give it a try today's the 17th of february 
Monday. La, la. Now the thing about this shape to think about is that it's, it's actually got a fairly wide base, isn't it? So we're basically wanting to, to bring up the clay and cone it in. So that shouldn't, that shouldn't be too difficult, should it? So let's cone up the clay, centre it down. Right now, I'm going to break in, breaking in, and now pushing the clay out. Now, what you can do sometimes with wider bottoms, take your needle tool, push it in, give you give yourself some idea of the thickness some idea of the thickness you can measure on the tool on the, on the needle here with your finger you see so so we've we've widened it we've opened it out I'm now going to cone it in like this and I'm going to take the clay Colouring it, you see. Pulling it up. I was uh, I was looking at this shape, you know, and thinking thinking about the the kind of uh, the origin of this shape and why the glass blower. Incidentally, this this olive oil bottle was actually made in Spain out of recycled glass. That's beside the point. I, I was really thinking about what, well, what is this shape? What does it come from? And um, what I came up with in my own mind was flamenco. This is a flamenco woman. This is her, this is her wide dress skirt that she's wearing, you see. Um, nipped in at the, in the waist here. These, these, the handle and the spout are the arms of the flamenco woman. She's in a dance. She's with the castanets. She is doing a twirl, you see. Can you see that? That's what I saw anyway. And um, so, where are we? Well, I'm just getting the skirt out here, you see, at the base. Well, follow, follow that line, you see. Fairly straight, isn't it, from there to there. Now, this is not a direct copy. As I'm saying, it's just using that as a, like an inspiration, you see. So I'm, 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 not, I'm sponging him out because I'm going to close him in now, you see. So I, don't, I won't have opportunity, perhaps, to, um, to, to, to use the sponge again. So now I'm collaring in all the way to the top, you see. 
So when you when you do this collaring, you want to start low and do it gradually. Don't do it too forcefully or too much at, all at one go. You know, don't try and bite it bite off more than you can chew. You want to ease the clay in. You see. But of course, when you do this, when you squeeze it, when you bring it up and you narrow it, it makes it thicker, you see? It, it becomes thicker. So now I'm gonna... Okay, got one eye on the bottle over there, one eye on the here, and I've got my third eye over there on the mirror, you see? You've got, to have, you've got to have more than two eyes for this job. So I'm lifting him up a bit now, bringing up a bit of that clay. Ho, ho, ho. Right, now then. Up a bit more. Now I need to think, don't I, about the kind of stopper I'm going to put in here. I could put a cork, a piece of cork, like is in that, that one, like the glass one. I'm just going to take my throwing stick and I'm just going to clean a little bit here. I just want to have a look at the foot here, where this finishes. Well, I'm just going to give it an undercut. So I've done a little Let's just bring the camera down and um and see 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 how we're getting on. So you can see it from your angle there. Okay, well, as you can see, uh, they're very slightly different, aren't they? The design of mine is a little bit more rounded here in the, between here and here. This one's a bit straighter from between here and here. Mine's got a little bit of a, a curve there. So maybe, you know, I may, uh, I may kind of keep it like that because I might prefer the curve slightly. Um, okay, put him back here. La la la. So.
So with this particular one, I'm probably thinking that we'll stick a cork in here. And then I have to think to myself, well, if I'm going to put a piece of cork in there, what kind of cork is it going to be? Is it going to be a piece of cork that I'm going to have to buy? Or am I going to be able to utilise a wine bottle cork? Maybe let's make it a touch smaller. So it will accommodate a wine bottle cork. Sometimes you, you have to think of these things, don't you? Now another way, another way of doing this would be to actually throw a stopper, um, a, a clay stopper. All right, so that's as far as we can we can take this right now. So what we're going to have to do is clean our cut off wire and cut him off like that. So we're going to get a bat now. Just going to move this back a touch. We're going to lift him off and put him on a bat. Well, I could lift the bat off that he's on, but I want you to see me lifting the whole thing off the wheel head because it's good it's good to see isn't it and a lot of people they're not sure about lifting now the secret to lifting off the wheel head make sure that the outside is not all wet and slimy and, and then just grab hold of it and pull it you see he's sticking to my hands quite nicely put him down so there's there's the beginnings anyway the beginnings of an olive oil bottle using this as a as a as a seed of inspiration now in the next clip in the next clip we will be putting the handle on and the spout so Yeah, there it is. Another kind of olive oil bottle from an inspiration. So maybe have a go at one of these. Now I'm saying this was about a pound. It might have been about 18 ounces. I'm not sure exactly. My scales were not working. But have a go. And join us for the next video when I'm going to... Um, make, throw a spout and a handle and a, put them on, okay? Please go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. I do, we've got a new sort of, uh, a new gallery of pots there. So that might interest you. Please go there, have a look. Hey, keep practicing. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.